hi guys namaste welcome back to my channel today i'm going to take you to my kitchen garden and we will do my kitchen garden tour together so first of all let me share these round chilies we called them dalle kursani in nepali and they are very hot and i think they ranked as one of the 10th hottest paper in the world so basically now they need overwintering because uh, the weather here in the UK is cold now. They cannot survive in the cold weather outside. So basically they need to be taken in the greenhouse or we have to take them indoor. So very soon we are going to harvest them. I want to leave them for a couple of weeks and I'll harvest them. So here my kitchen garden starts. They are all the vines of like cucumber, pumpkins, chocos, and these are watercress. We eat them as vegetables or use them as salads. So basically they are growing well in the pot than in the ground. And uh, these little leaves, they are buckwheat leaves. They are very nutritious and very healthy. We take them as a curry stir frying or you can use them as salads as well so at this time this buckwheat leaves you can see there they have started flowering and soon they will form seeds so this is again the watercress which is really doing good in the pot and these are some of my indoor plants that i have kept outdoor during the summer and soon I will be taking them indoor they are such a lovely to watch look at these leaves beautiful pattern mixed color and this one is a trailing plant it looks beautiful when, when they grow tall So I have grown some of the marigold flowers in my kitchen garden as they look beautiful. And I think it's uh, during this time, autumn time, October, November, these uh, marigold flowers, they flower more. And these are the flowers of radish. Soon they are forming seeds as well. And we will be keeping those seeds. So these are the mage plant. So basically, I'm a little bit late uh, to plant this uh, maize. So I don't think uh, we will have a um, good production of a maize this year. And this is the vine of chocos. And we in please eat lots of choco suit. Unfortunately, I cannot have, they didn't give me fruits, but at least uh, we are having the shoots as veggies. And here I'm showing you the taro leaves, Colocosia, we called Piralu in Nepali, which is very highly nutritious and we eat them as vegetables, the leaves and the roots both. So here come again, uh, these are again the Dali Kursanis, the round chilies, which I'm preparing for next year. And I'm doing pinching here to get more branches. So I'm expecting them to give me fruits uh, next year. And uh, this one, this is also Dolly Kursani. This is from this year. So it's only giving a few chilies, not too much. And here you go, I have got some cucumber. So these are the three tomatoes, three tomatoes plant. 
and unfortunately they did not give me fruit this year so hopefully next year if it still survive this winter yeah i have got a few more chilies plant getting ready for next year and here you go i have planted that taro plant in a small pot it looks beautiful it even looks beautiful as an indoor plant So these are all vines of cucumber and uh, pumpkins and slipper goat. We call it chute karela in Nepali. It's very tasty as a curry. We can mix them in potatoes. We can mix them in chicken. And look at these amazing plants. They look beautiful. At least they give green to watch them every day. They have started to flowering now, but it's too late because it's already September and uh, very soon it will be winter and they cannot survive the cold. Guys, let's get into this corner, what we have in here. So we have got some cucumber here. They are growing quite big and we have got quite few and we have harvested some of them. They are growing so well, we cannot leave them now because of the cold weather. We have to harvest them very soon. Look at this, they are still growing. And uh, this is slipper goat, which we called uh, Chuchakarilla in Nepali, as I mentioned earlier. So guys, this is my kitchen garden tour of this summer this year. It's so good to have the vegetables that you have planted with your own hand. <laughs> 